Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC coming to you from my garden. Uh, I've been out for a run today so that's my one piece of exercise that I'm allowed to get outside. So due to the quarantine and social distancing I've decided to uh, do today's review from my back garden. Now you might hear people mowing the lawns, doing their normal kind of Sunday routine so I apologise about that but you know that's the kind of the world we live in. Uh, but what we're here to look at today is the Urban Courier from Helicontex. So let's move the camera in so that you can see it a little bit better and we'll get into some of the details. Okay, so as we usually do with these style of bags, I'll go around the outside, the sides, the back and so on. Then we'll have a look at the insides and the different compartments. Construction wise, it's made from Cordura material. There are two versions of this. There are There is the Cordura version, which is the one that I went for. And then there is a, a different one that's just made from nylon. The reason that I went for this one was if you have a look on the um, Helicon Text website, the two nylon versions, they almost look as though they're made from, kind of looks like denim. It, it looks like stonewashed denim. And then even the on, on the bluer version, the seams are all stitched in an orange um, stitch, which for me just made it look a little bit too Shania Twain. So instead, I went with the Cordura version because I knew Cordura would be a... Uh, would be a lot tougher. They are a little bit more expensive obviously because you're paying for Cordura rather than an off-the-shelf kind of nylon. Um, although with the nylon and Helicon Tex I would trust that that would be nice and strong. On the website and even the literature that comes with the, with this it doesn't actually say um, what denier Cordura that it is although it feels roughly around that 500 mark so you guarantee that it will be nice and tough. As far as measurements are concerned, uh, it's 38 centimeters by 32 centimeters, and you can get up to 13 centimeters deep, which is roughly 15 inches, 13 inches deep, and then it will come out around about five inches. So as I mentioned previously, this is the large version of the two. There is a smaller version, which is, which is practically identical apart from the size. So this is large, and there is a medium version. This is 16 litres, the smaller or medium version sorry is 9.5 litres and it measures 36 centimetres by 27 centimetres by 10 centimetres. So just taking 2 or 3 centimetres off each of those dimensions roughly makes it half the size of the pack that you've got here. As far as messenger bags, laptop style bags, these urban courier style bags, I'm used to carrying large ones because I've in the past I've always worked with larger laptops. Um, so that's why I went for this one. And it's not a particularly heavy bag. I think it comes in in just over nine, uh, sorry, just over 800 grams. So when there's nothing in it, there's not that much of a difference. And I thought for the extra that I get going from nine and a half liters up to 16 liters, the larger one was perfect for me. So moving around, so here we have the front. There is a large flap which has uh, two um, plastic clasps on there. They're the press clasps so you can easily pop them open. All of the plastics on here are Wujin plastics so you know that they are nice and tough. While we're talking about it as well, all of the zippers are YKK zippers. The ones on the inside are reverse stitched to stop any debris or dirt getting in there. Uh, and they all have these little um, ties on them. They're actually made with, um, oh, what's it called, paracord. And then they have one of these shrink ties around them so they're, they're just easy to get to. So you have large flap on the front which has the two buckles and then you have a large um, velcro hook, hook and loop section on the front. We then have a large pocket here which zips all the way across and it does a little kind of crescent shape which does actually make it easy to get into. Because of that crescent shape you've got an extra overlap so if you're trying to get into this it, it almost just kind of lifts forward when you've got stuff in so that does make it very easy. We'll have a look through the for the different the different pockets in, in, a, sec, in, a, in a moment. Um, on the sides, both of the sides are identical. You have a large pocket here which is very useful for storing um, water carriers, water containers if you want to use those. Exactly the same on this side. You have the buckle strap which you are which you can remove on both sides. On the bottom you have 
two compression straps and these are for uh, your buckles. Now one of the extra things that they've added to this and I think this this is kind of where I've got to learn from Helicon Texas. They, they do put that extra thought into the way that they create their bags and their packs. So instead of just having this so that when it comes undone it completely flops around, what they've done is put in an extra D um, link here. What that does is one, stops it from coming open so that you, you then have to reach around to be able to find this and it makes it a lot more snug there but also it allows you if you want to put something underneath here if you've got a shirt or a jacket or something that you want to take off even um, a tripod I've been out and had a tripod underneath here and it fits perfectly you can pull that through do that on both sides put whatever it is that you need to put through and you can get something really big in there I mean if I were to take my hand there you can see my dead spider span um, you can fit all of that in there and then cinch it tight whether you're cinching the pack tight so that its contents are nice and secure or whether you're cinching whatever there is on the bottom here nice and secure it works perfectly and it's very well thought about with these extra little D-links um, D-I things here I forget what they're called I'm having difficulty with my plastics today uh, then on the back I just put that there that was my notes on the back it is a completely plain back but then you also have an extra zip pocket here which is a little bit more secure or, or hidden away so that if you want to keep anything valuable in here and we'll have a look at this in a second then you've got that too what you also get which comes a standard with the pack itself is um, is a stability strap which is completely removable if you want to and you get extra positions on here if you want to then decide how you want to have that stability, stability strap and how you want to use that which again we'll, we'll have a look at in a bit. So that's your whistle stop tour around the outside. So we'll now start to have a look at each of the different sections. Oh I forgot you've got a really good grab handle on the top as well. This is, um, it looks like two inch webbing that's been folded over onto itself so it's, it's, a, it's double lined uh, and then stitched through the middle so it's actually really tough uh, and it's a great, I mean it, it's there if you, if you want to grab it you can. Um, the way that it's stitched I can feel, so it's stitched into the lining here rather than actually being stitched onto the back. It feels really secure and it feels really tight. I've got no issues with it. I've had this fully loaded while I've been doing some um, visits on site um, and really not had any issues with it. When you pull it, it doesn't seem to be pulling from the seam. So I've no doubts that this isn't. This is a, a very very strong grab handle. Okay, so we're looking at the front here. So here we have YKK zip. Um, all of the pockets are lined as well, which if you know me, you know I love my lining. Um, so you can keep in here, for example, I've made this up actually, so just so you know, I've made this up for a typical kind of EDC for me. This isn't a daily kind of EDC, this is the worst case scenario when I've just got everything packed into here, when I've gone out up to see a client or something and I've just got everything in it. So hopefully this will show you exactly how much you can fit in this large version of the Urban Courier. So got a little uh, scratchy boo-boo kit there, set of playing cards, Altoids tin. This goes all the way in down into this corner and all the way across. So it's a good 30, 35 centimeters across. Depth wise, I mean, it, it goes all the way up to my wrist there and it does have a really nice large opening as well. On the inside, as far as stitching is concerned, it, it's all it's all absolutely amazing. The stitching on this is perfect. There's, there's no snag stitches. Um, it also goes straight up to the top as well. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop here. It goes all the way up into this top seam. So if you want to put something in there and then loop it under so that you can put as much in as possible, you can definitely do that. As you expect with YKK's, YK K zippers it opens perfectly smoothly so we've got the two buckles pull open the buckles 
and here we have the different main compartments. You've got a couple of different options as how you want to close this as well. So if you don't, if you prefer not to use these buckles, if you're in an area or you're in seeing somebody, let's say, if when you're out and about, I like to make sure that these buckles are used. If I'm going from room to room in an office, then you have two large panels here of hook and loop. And then you have the corresponding hooks here. So you can put it down so that you don't necessarily have to keep doing that and, and un unbuckling it every single time that you want to use it. The lid folds all the way over the cross. There's no rain gusset that goes round the side that stops it that you then have to peel over for it to do that. Okay, now every time I use this bag I find something new. So let's go through all of the bits as far as compartments are concerned and there are a lot in this. The first one here you have the double ambi opening pocket and in here I've got a small toolkit. I also have an extra wind jacket just in case I'm out and about and it's cold and then again it goes from the full left hand side all the way across to the full right hand side. The zip runs pretty much the whole width across yeah, there's probably about a centimetre, maybe a centimetre or two on the outside of the zip. But what they've been able to do with that overlap is put in some extra reinforcing on the zip. I'm more than happy for that because if I'm putting stuff in and out of here and I want a bag that's going to last a long time, for that extra reinforcement in the corners, I'm more than happy for the opening to be, well, about two centimetres smaller than the inside of the pocket. On the inside of the pocket, it's lined with hook, so if there are any um, any CCW carriers out there, you can put your CCW in here. All you have to do is lift this. Now you might think, okay, that's an extra step, but you can lift this, you can get into the bag, you can take out whatever you need to. Also, as an extra point, before we get further into each of these, as far as storage is concerned, there's lots of different sections that you can store things in this pack. But as far as organisations concerned, there is no organisation. So on the inside of this bag, what you tend to expect with these sort of messenger style courier bags is there'll be a panel where there's a pocket with a zip, a pocket that doesn't have a zip, a couple of sections where you can put in pens, that sort of stuff. This does not have this in any of the sections. So if it is that you've got a spare pouch that you can put some hook on the back of it that you can then put that organisation into, it also means that you can you can do this throughout the bag, but it just gives you that option. If I was to add anything, probably would be to do with some sort of organisation, but I think as it stands, this is actually a really good bag and I've not really got to the point where I thought, wow, I could really do with somewhere that I can, I, I need a pen because I've always got one in my pocket. So that's the first pocket here. Oh, and there's also, there's a, there's a loop here if you want to put your keys onto something. So then we get into the main section itself. So starting from the outside and working in because there's, there's quite a lot of different things in here. So I already mentioned that you have these large, um, uh, water pockets on the side so there's a large monster can I can fit that in the outside one and there's still plenty of room in there but then you also have um, two on the inside so there's two on the outside two on the inside here I've got a 750 milliliter uh, water bottle which is what that's a 24 ounce water bottle fits in but what I've also got on this side is another but another can of monster so you can fit them in both sides and still not have any trouble whatsoever getting them out the pockets that are on the inside which I'll show you uh, uh, as well these don't have any sort of um, compression on there so what you put in you can get out super easy to slip in and out if you've got some sunglasses and you're always trying to find these you can put those into that again it's very easy to just be able to put your hand in and you'll be able to find that without any sort of rummaging around the two on the outside however do have compression on those so that when they don't have anything in them they just close up and they're nice and flush against the bag have a large section which I keep so this is all of my electronics gear so anything that I need whilst I'm on site I keep this in this large 
Tasmanian Tiger pouch which is perfect in my line of work. That fits in perfectly, I've still got plenty of room. On the front here, and I'll reverse this round so that you can see, you then have another mesh pocket. This runs the entire length of the front, so the, the pocket that we looked at here, it mirrors that pocket on the inside and it's made with this really quite thick mesh it's almost double walled but it's not double walled it's it's kind of well whatever the weight or the the size of the the stitching that they use for the mesh it's a lot thicker than you get on some other bags so in here I've got things like headphones but I've also had the charger for my laptop in there as well super useful really 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 easy to get into on the back wall of the main compartment as well you have even more hook and loop so if you want to further um, change up how you can organize things in here you can do that that on this back wall at the top hopefully here you can see there's a little tab with some hook on there and this is fully padded so if you've got a laptop in here which I have MacBook 15 inch MacBook it fits in perfectly and there's actually even more space because I've also got a couple of notebooks that I use whenever I'm out and about and need to kill some time and do a little bit of do a little bit of doodling I put that in there now here's something that you haven't seen in a while here's a pop quiz who can remember the first video that the NT6001 appeared in this is the Ninja Tears 6001 so cool because it's uh, it's 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 absolutely ridiculous how good this is um, the Queen gave me this um, it's powered by Ninja Tears and it's also super thick so if you need to use this as a defensive weapon you can do absolutely amazing this is another 15 and a half inch laptop but instead it's it's longer longer aspect and fits in absolutely perfect and there's still enough room that if I needed to I can fit extra things in here as well so as far as laptops are concerned you can fit a lot in here if it is you've got a 16 inch laptop they will fit as well but you need to make sure that it's something similar to uh, a MacBook where it's nice and slim and the extra the extra length that you get here allows it to to open a little bit wide a little bit wider so that's the laptop section the back of this is also padded so whatever you've got in there will make sure that it, it's it's protected all the way around it has got a slightly raised bottom off the bottom of the bag I don't think it is designed to be raised to give it some clearance but what you find is where it curves round underneath the bag um, it just lifts above where the stitching is uh, and the seams at the back so it's probably only a centimeter or so but there is still a little bit of distance there um, if you were concerned about putting putting the bag down roughly last but not least before we start to look at the strap um, you have this pocket at the back so there is a zip this zip I'd, I'm not sure if there's a reason for this the zip on the front or on the inside is an ambi zip um, whereas this one on the back I'm sure it probably just count down to saving a few pounds here or there not to have that um, but there's just the one zip and on the back of here if you can see this is fully hook and loop lined so again if there's anybody there that likes to CCW with one of these you can fit something in this again goes from the far left to the far right and goes all the way down to the bottom now here in the UK it is difficult to CCW but if you carry anything that is a similar size to the classic 1985 Nintendo Zapper then you know you can rest assured that it's definitely going to fit in there let's bring the camera out again and let's have a look at what I think is possibly one of the best selling points for this bag and that is the strap now as far as straps are concerned I really do think that Helicon Techs have hit the nail on the head and achieved perfection with this strap there is no fault whatsoever that I can pick with it it's the first type of strap that I've come across like this now I have seen other other versions of this out there on other packs but this is the first one that i've owned that i've just completely fallen in love with straight away 
I try not to give too many opinions as far, you know, I like it to be, here's this, this is what it does. And I try not to say I love it, but I genuinely do love this as far as straps is concerned. So the strap itself, um, you have, it, it locks on on both sides. So I'll show you this, it's on, it is on both sides. You have the buckle. Again, these are all Wujin plastics. So it comes off nice and easy, locks nice and secure. And they're very strong as well. So when you get, when you push it in and it, and it makes that ping noise, you know it's, it's definitely connected. You get these on both sides, but similar to the semi ratchet system that you have on the bottom, you also have the same on these. So if I pull back on the plastic here, what it does is it expands this. Now, instead of expanding it so that the, the, the strap, the excess is just flopping around, the excess comes up into another one of these square shaped D rings. So if I want to be able to lift this up again, all I have to do is just pull down on it and it slides it back up, both on exactly the same side. So if I want this one to come down, that one to come down, you just put your thumb in there and it does it. So as far as holding it, if you wanted to keep this bag nice and low, you can do. If you want to bring it up and you want to bring it up quickly, there's that side, there's that side and it's done. Now I tend to carry my bags a little bit higher than, I don't know, some people. Some people like to keep them quite low. I like to keep mine nice and high. I find for me, keeping it just above the small of my back just makes it a little bit easier to maneuver around, take it off. I can take it off straight over my head, um, but if I got a lot in it and I wanted to, then all I have to do is push my thumb into there, it opens it up do exactly the same in the opposite direction that's that that's perfect for me then we get into the construction of the actual strap itself so there is a piece of one inch webbing that goes from end to end with that and then underneath that is this padding and this is it's just brilliant absolutely perfect the padding itself rather than being a square perfectly um, square strap padding strap it has a natural curve to it, as any strap should have. It's one of the downsides of using messenger bags, sling bags, those sort of things. When they have a wide strap, it starts to kind of crumple up here and, and, and pull up. What this does is, because it has that natural bow to it, that natural bend to it, it allows it to go across your shoulders, across your chest and your back perfectly. The padding inside it, it's not a memory foam style padding, it's almost like the padding that you get inside a normal suspension system kind of strap. It's very, very tough. I mean, there's, there's a lot of bends to it. You don't have any difficulty bending it, but it is tough. And when you, when you hold it, you think, no, that's not, gonna, that's not gonna be comfy. But then when you put it on, it just, it just disappears. The whole bag disappears. It's, it's, Again, Helicon Techs have done an absolutely amazing job. I'd like to think that they've put hundreds of hours into designing this strap. Hopefully, you know, a genius there just went, do you know what, we should do this with a strap and not make it amazing. And that's really good. If not, definitely I'd like to think that they put a lot of hours into trying to work out what is the best way to have this strap. And it's, it is just absolutely brilliant. As I mentioned, the webbing does go all the way across it, but here you have um, a couple of daisy chains so if there is something that you do want to hook onto there you can hook things onto it really easy just in case you're out and about you, you want to put your phone on there maybe you're in a city and you're the type of person that walks walks around with a GPS you know you can have that hooked to there you need to check something you can bring it back down and yeah it's perfect um, the extra little point I nearly forgot about it there is you have a stabilizer strap the stabilizer strap on this side is buckled on with the plastics so you can easily remove that when you want to put it on. Then on this side you have a G clamp or a G hook or a flat hook whatever you want to call these with a piece of uh, cordura that goes over the top of that. Um, there's an extra attachment here at the bottom depending on how you want to use your stability strap. If you use this while cycling it's perfect for that. Generally, I don't keep it on there, but I do always keep it in the bag, so it's with me if I do need it. But you can easily unhook it, 
bring it round. Oh. Just on my breakfast, maybe it doesn't fit me now. I'll put on an extra couple of inches. Put it in. I think it's just because I had the laptop in, I didn't have the laptop in this morning. And it, it really does kind of stop it from moving around. Um, I can imagine for cycle couriers, or even if you just got something in there that you're just worried about it moving around, uh, it's absolutely, oh, it's amazing, yeah, it's really good. As far as, I usually get to this point, and I like to think about if there's anything that I would change about a pack, or whatever it is that I'm looking at. Um, first one, potentially, it probably is just a nitpick, and it really is a nitpick, and that is some sort of internal organisation. For me, I don't find that it's necessarily an issue. Um, I'm not the type of person that when I've got a pack or a bag that I keep pens and things like that on the inside. It's useful sometimes to have something or a pocket that I can put my car keys into, but this has a, a, a loop on the inside. Generally, if I need a pen, I need a knife, it's always in my pocket. So if it is that you're thinking of this and it's something that you have to have, it's a game changer if it's not in there, it just simply isn't in here. On one of these plethora of different pockets, I think you it, it could have been added to there. Um, the second bit, and it really is, it's, it's, a, it's a thing that you get with a lot of these bags. And that is, so this pocket is designed, as all of these style bags, is to protect everything that's on the inside. When it's full, you do find that the outside of the, uh, of the main pocket, it does, it's not actually covered by the rain cover. You can do that, I mean you can pinch it, you can push it in, but you'll find that after a bit of walking around it pops out again. You generally find that with a lot of all of these style messenger bags. The only way around it is if Helicon Techs maybe just put an extra couple of centimetres, couple of inches maybe, on the end of here to make sure it was something that could be pulled round to stop it. But then you get to the point where do I want it to then be able to clip onto this every time you open your bag you've got to undo that I think it's a balance really if you're going to be using this and you know you're going to be out and about and it's going to be in the rain then make sure that you've consciously pushed that these bits in on each of the sides to make sure that no water gets on the inside from my experience and I've said this probably several times already but from my experience with these style of messenger bags I've never come across one where that doesn't happen possibly one I think that was a crumpler bag but the the sides of that were stitched round so you know you get those money bags where you have to then fold it inside it was very similar to that but all of the other messenger style bags that I've come across have all suffered from from that kind of issue Okay, so I hope you've liked this video. This was another video that's actually come directly from a request uh, from a viewer. Um, I think it's really cool that I'm managing to build a bit of a community and people are asking me to review things and are asking me for specific styles of reviews and this is directly to answer, answer that request. So thank you very much. Um, I said in my last video, you know, we all need to stay safe in future. Um, that continues with this, you know, the EDC community, we're there to prepare ourselves for situations. That's why we carry our EDC. So as long as you're being, you know, sensible, there's no reason why we can't help others with the things that we carry um, in, these, in these trying times. Okay, so instead of the normal stay safe, I'm going to say stay home, stay more under, Stay DC. Oh no, I forgot. I always forget this bit. Hey, if you like this content, don't forget to hit that like button. Always forget this bit. Um, that would be great if you want to share this content. Again, that would be absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, sub subscribe, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of jazz. You know what to do. Yeah, stay at home, stay more and stay DC.